Hi everyone, so I'm here with Victoria and we have just spent a little bit of time doing these makeup looks because we're going out tonight. So this video is going to be all about how we created these looks. So before we get to the nitty gritty of both of our looks, I've done some prep work on both of us just to save a bit of time so we can spend more time with colour, eyes, lips, all of that stuff. So for me, I have done a nice mask with um, my cleanser and mask because I've just been on four flights last week, so I feel a bit ugh. I've given myself a nice spritz and I've moisturized really well. And I've used my foundation in shade 11 and my highlighter in crystal nebula, just so I've got my sort of basics on. I've also done my eyebrows. I've done a little eyelash curl and put some lip balm on. And on Victoria, I've done the same skincare, plus I have also done her base. I've used actually shade 15 on Victoria and Solar Light in the highlighter. I've also done her brows, a little bit of sculpting on her eyelids as well, so that we are kind of ready now for color. So base on, brows on, basic sculpt with some browns. Now I'm gonna use your sculpting pencil and this one is in sandstone. This is a great shade for you. I'm just gonna start really just at the back here, just under the highest point there, the contour. And I like to not put too much of this on to start. I'm a slowly, slowly person. And then just start to really blend this in. What I like about these contour stilos is how you can really either use a brush you can use your fingers or what i normally do is literally just use them like a giant crayon and really <laughs> draw on the face i'm going to use it straight from the bullet to do a little jaw contour sharpen up that jawline yeah we love a sharp jawline it's a really good color anyway for you it's not too warm how do you warm up for a party then in terms of like getting the mood for one do you have any music that you like to put on while you're doing your makeup or is it just about like relaxing before you go out? Do you know, I think if you've got the time to really enjoy the moment, I think sometimes the getting ready is often more fun <laughs> than when you actually go anywhere. You know, I think, so if you do have the time to put some music on, have a glass of wine or something like that. Mm. That's obviously the dream. Yeah. What I love about this bronzer and what I was adamant so about bronzer. when creating it, I wanted something that had a lot of payoff. I didn't want something that you really had to, you know, Spend work hard at the palette. I wanted something with a lot of payoff. What we were obviously talking about yesterday when we were working together mm -hmm. is how what I am personally really desiring this holiday season is is a green sparkly eye, or where green meets almost a sexy gunmetal mm. eye. Yeah, And gorgeous. I was asking for some top tips of mm -hmm. what products I should use to create that, so. Well, yesterday we were all about using this into the sculpting contour. Okay. So this is a great one if you want to do green, but you're a little bit like scared of green, if that mm -hmm. makes sense, mm -hmm. so you're not like, going to go straight in with a lime green mm -hmm. or a super strong green. This is a deep bottle green. I'm going to use this more. I know we did a little brown earlier on, but we're going to use this more into the socket line. So when did we first meet? I feel like I've known you for such a long time. And it's funny because so often I say, you know, I've had so many great makeup tips <laughs> from the best in the industry. Half the time I'm talking about you because we've worked together so much. But when was the first time we worked together? I don't remember when we first worked together. I only remember when we first met and it was at a Vogue cocktail party thing. We always have a laugh. We do always have yeah, a laugh. We don't it... take it too seriously and that's why I like working with you. I'm using a little bit of this green underneath. Don't freak out because I'm just going to buff it softly. No, it's good. And this is why I'm excited because you're going to show me how to, how to do this and then I'm going to try and recreate it. Watch the video back. <laughs> we'll have to. But no, this is great because I think it's so important to update your look and change things and try new things. And so it's about updating a, smoke, a smoky eye, which is something that I do every day of the week. But how do I yeah, change it, really it up? it really is your signature, isn't it? The smoky look. Especially for this holiday season where you just want to, you know, spice it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And I was going to say spice up your life, and I was like, Oh, oh say it, Lisa. <laughs> Just don't sing it. 
<laughs> oh no. Or do sing it. No, 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 no. That honestly would not be good. So we were just talking about brushes. Because you have your own brushes. Yeah. Which are amazing. Thank you. Um, and I was I was literally just asking how you clean your brushes because quite often I just use face wash, which is probably well I thought it was the wrong thing to do, but <laughs> But you said it was the right thing to do, right? What do well, you use? I like to use either washing up liquid or shampoo. I don't really like using just the sprays and things, mm -hmm. the alcohol. So I like to really wash them carefully. Keep them facing down. Never get water inside the ferrule because that okay. will ruin your brushes. Okay. Swirl them around on your hand with your face wash. Mm -hmm. Rinse them going down. Okay. And then really pull them into shape. And that is the key. Yes. It's pulling them into shape. I'm just dampening my brush actually because I'm using your um, sequined velvet here eyeshadow. But I want to create a really metallic sheen. This is such a great one for holiday because I love the level um, of sparkle that you get, yeah, you know, really because lovely. the amount of times I've used shadows that have sparkle and I find that the pigments are too big. So then you end up with them halfway down your face mm. and in a photograph, then you look like, you know, you've either got a black eye or just that, yeah, yeah. you know, your, your shadow has really dropped a lot. So we did so much work when creating these formulas to make sure that that doesn't happen and that once they stay where they're supposed once to you create that look, it stays where it's supposed to. I hope I get invited to some parties. Oh, you now. will. Why are, I mean, you, why are you worried? <laughs> well, I don't know why I've got a good look. I just need somewhere to go now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not... Please invite me to okay, a party. Okay, I'll have a party. Make sure that I invite you guys. I'm having a party just for you so you don't feel left out. I love that. I love that. I'm terrible. I never want to go out. It's really bad. Do you know what? I love going out. Oh, I used to. I'm I'm over it. I don't know what's happened. I, I love staying it. in. Now that I've taught David the slide, really <laughs> I feel that the world is just our oyster because any party that we go to, it's the kind of dance. Oh, did he not used to he dance? Can... Everyone's now seen David Beckham dance. They saw it in the yeah, documentary. Yeah, yeah. He cracked his moves out. Yeah, okay. Um, to but show that he it's... can do it. And the good thing about that dance is it's pretty universal. You can do it to anything. It doesn't have to just be Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. It can pretty much be anything. So we'll be doing that. We'll have a sparkly eye. We'll be doing the slide oh, wow. this holiday. I hope David's going to have a sparkly eye as well. I'm going to do the, the sequin look. I've taught all of the kids how to how to dance, how to do the slide. I mean, the thought of having kids with two left feet that can't throw out a dance move <laughs> fills me with horror. <laughs> The kids have got to be able to dance. It's like a Beckham family moment. Okay, so actually. what age did you start training them? Well, I mean, you, before they could even okay. actually walk, I would kind of dance with the kids to make yeah, sure yeah. they had a natural rhythm. Can you imagine not? You know, and so we'll just be hanging around, at, you know, at a holiday party, just having a casual chat, and then all of a sudden, you will break into something. Like, will happen, oh God, like cameo will come on, yeah. and well, all of a sudden. We'll start doing it, honestly. It oh, never fails. It never gets it old. It never fails to impress. <laughs> it's always one of those moments where everyone's like, wow. Wow, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And David feels so accomplished every time he does it. <coughs> it's not as easy as it looks. As as it, years of practice with my family, <laughs> years. There's a bit of shining in the corner, I can see. We were saying the other yeah. good thing about this product is how it doesn't drop, mm. but also how... If it is humid, once you've created the look, it's going to stay. Yeah. And having spent that. so much time in Miami where it is oh, yes. so, so humid. humid, which I love, actually. I do love it. As long as you can embrace mm. a top knot and, okay. and, and come to terms with the fact <laughs> your hair's never going to look that great. No. Because if your hair's down, it's quite lank. Right. So half or the time, frizzy. Mine would be really frizzy. That's what I call my holiday hair. Holiday Whenever hair, I yeah. go on holiday, I have holiday hair, and it's it's not a good look. But it's quite good for testing product. Mm. Because if your makeup will last while standing on a football pitch yeah. in August okay. in Miami. Yeah. If I can if make it there, last, I'll make it anywhere. <laughs> It means you're on to something good with that formula. Right, I'm going to do some pencil. Okay. Shall we? Let's do the... I love this colour. Let's do this colour. Which one's that? This is called... Sequin green. Sequin green. Ah, so this matches. Look up, darling. We're going to so, do your inner 
waterline if you can bear that for a second. Mm -hmm. Just going to use night flash a little bit as well, just at the outer edge on the top. I know we did a little bit of brows earlier on, but I'm just going to fill in a gap that I just spotted. I am so obsessed. I know you are. I know. With my brows. I know. I use the medium colourway on my brows. Oh, and I also good. like to create quite a straight brow, which is another tip that I have learned through working with the best makeup artists. I love a straight artists. brow. It's youthful. So check you're happy, good on the brows. Very good. Very happy. Straight, nice and thick, a little bit fluffy, but not too, yeah, not like they're stenciled. Okay, I'm going to do a quick blush. I'm going to use, um, actually a lipstick. I'm going to use this one, which is a little bit more corally. This is my Je Ne Sais Quoi, which is one of my lucent lipsticks. My favourite thing to do is to add just a touch of highlighter in, because okay. I love a fresh blush. And I know that um, we've already done a bit of powder, but everything's, I work in such thin layers in general. I like that. I like that you said that, you know, you have quite a light hand because that's very much my take on makeup as well. I like to, I do like makeup. I love makeup and I wear, I do wear quite a lot of makeup, but I have quite a light hand. And I think, hand. I think that that just feels so much more fresh than anything that's, that's too that's too heavy so I like this tip so you're taking your lipstick yeah. and you're mixing it with your highlighter yeah to create just a the tiny bit blush. of the highlighter but look how nice and fresh that is it just has a really nice kind of dewiness to it oh, I like that so that's my favorite way to do my blush you don't need a lot of highlighter mm. just keep it kind of on the nice sort of Kind of the apples of the cheeks, but then blend. Again, it's so thin layers. And I hardly touch faces when I'm doing makeup. I don't know if you notice. You know, a lot of people say that to me. And that, I think, is also a really good tip. It's not... Do you know, it's interesting because we did a shoot. We did The Perfect magazine. Mm. Um, actually, it was this time last year. Okay. And I loved my makeup because it did look really natural and what really surprised me when I went home that night and obviously after a shoot when you've been shooting all day you just can't wait to get in the bath I got in the bath and when I used my makeup removers mm, yeah I was shocked at how little makeup I actually had on you know on my mm. washcloth because because we you'd been applying it all day yeah obviously because yeah. you want it to look fresh and yeah. we had lots and of we different were building changes up as well changing looks i was so pleasantly surprised because quite often you know when you work with makeup artists they put a lot of makeup on yeah. and to be honest that can really be it can be quite an old fashioned look i don't want to say aging because i don't mm. want to sound like i'm being ageist no, but, but it can be quite yeah. aging um, and I love how you don't do that. It's just less is more, but I it's making so. sure that what you're using is the right product and the best product out there. Absolutely. I'm just building up thin layers. I'm all about thin yes. layers. So for lips, I know you like a very softly contoured and sculpted lip, but without looking like a harsh liner, which I'm here for by the way. Well, this is quite a new thing for me. This is this is a tip that I recently learned, is to contour the lips rather than just go too heavy on the lip liner mm. because I love, I do love a lip liner. And quite often I'm told, no more lip liner because I just, <laughs> I always want more. It's the one thing mm -hmm. where I know less is more, mm. but I don't always practice what I preach. The lip so, liner police come and catch you. Exactly. So what I started doing is using the contour and starting with the travertine which is our contour colour and using that quite freely first of all that's the okay. first one that I use okay. so tell so me what I'm you gonna think. do that I think this is a good idea just to get what you're doing is you're just adding shadow around the lips but hardly so you notice I'm gonna show from the front I'm not gonna go right into the inner corners because we obviously want to really lift up our shape as well we'll talk about that in a minute smile for me then for the lower lips, I'm mainly going to do the centre there. So we've got a little extra shadow. We're going to leave the corners because we're going to make sure they're lifted before we put on lipstick. I'm actually going to use a slightly deeper one as well for your top lip to create that shadow there as well. 
slight smile center there so have a look at that see just we've just got some shading going on what I am going to do is just make sure that using my concealer I'm going to just add a little lightness here just so we make sure we don't actually overdraw there and I have a whole video about this called my lip lift video from a few years ago oh I like that which everyone loves and it's how to wear lipstick without looking sad do you know it, <laughs> that's that's so true because I like to give the illusion of quite a natural lip like I love you know a very natural color but mm. I still want to look like I've got something on yeah so it's about sort of emphasizing I suppose what you've got naturally and that's why I recently am obsessed with contouring rather than over lining mm. because it's nice to have a little bit of a liner but too much can just be very yeah. 90s having said that I am still going to use lip liner but of course I'm not going to give you a big old overly drawn lip I'm just going to blend in just underneath where we've done our contouring and then slightly buff the lip liner onto your lips very very lightly just to give a nice just really a base actually to the lips this is your shade number two which I know is your favorite so just a light buff all over and then smile for me and then where I did that a little bit of concealing underneath stay smiling because this is the trick coming up and slightly inside there so we have finished our liner off without dragging down the lips. Do you know what a good tip is as well? Sometimes if the lip liner that you've overdrawn is shiny, mm -hmm. it shows. So if you slightly mattify that lip line, you can actually get away with it mm -hmm. higher than you think. Quite so you could actually go in now and draw higher now that it's okay. matte. Well, because I... What I like to do is on the bow of my lip, mm -hmm. I like to draw quite a straight line mm -hmm. as well. And just a little bit above. So we've got our lovely sparkly eye and our sculpted lip mm -hmm. and our dewy skin and a touch of um, flush in the cheeks. But I think let's do a more of a matte lip maybe. Okay, great. Because we're going to go all about the shine on the eyes. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of Velvet Fawn, which is a matte without being like horrific matte that sucks the life out of you. So it's actually not that different to the shade that we've, the pencil that we've used actually. And this will also help to blend the lip liner in really nicely. It will be completely disguised and as far as anyone knows, you're not wearing any lip liner at all. You've just got extremely pouty full lips. And you know, this makes me sound so controlling, which I am. <laughs> but I always, always, always ask for a straw when I'm yeah, drinking because I think to. you spend so much time contouring your lip, lining your lip, yeah. getting that perfect pout. Yeah. And then, you know, you have a sip of water or whatever it might be and the lip goes... Mm. straws are the key no, don't they you are. think this oh yeah season? they're the absolute key so i think you're ready and i know that we are going out quite soon so i'm afraid jump up because i'm in the hot seat you're going to get yourself ready okay <laughs> so with my red lip i will need to sculpt my eye because i cannot do a red lip without i know i say sometimes in interviews like if you're going to do a red lip keep the eye natural but when I say natural I mean I need a sculpt so I'm using some raw sienna all over and I'm actually going in with a really deep brown in my cinnabar palette just to lift and can you see the difference it's still not going to look like eyeshadow but it's going to have to just balance out I mean years ago I could do a red lip on its own but now I need a sculpt I'm just gonna... I think that's a really good tip though, Lisa, because you're right, it doesn't look like you're wearing eye makeup. It's just you would naturally have a slightly darker tone there anyway. I think it looks really good. It looks, it looks really natural. Thank you. And like you, I do like as well 
something along here as a shadow, not really as a, you know, not necessarily to create a look, it's just to create some dimension under there. And if I don't do that with a red lip, it can all start to look a little bit too stark. And almost looks, it's hard to say, but almost looks like heavier made up than it would if it wasn't there, if I just had red lips on. It just feels cooler as well. It yeah. feels fresher, doesn't it? It makes the red look less harsh and ties it all in. Yeah, definitely. Once the lip's on, I might actually go back in and do a touch more sculpting. But I'm going to do, I'm going to try fast lash. Love a nice thick lash. Well, I like the brush pushing up. I'm going to start right at the roots of the lashes. Sometimes people forget about the roots. And that's where you want the majority of the depth. And then I'm going to start to build up the lengths in a second. But look at that, it looks great. I mean, you obviously make me want a manicure. <laughs> I love the red nail. Ferrari red, I reckon that's called. And I'm loving the emerald. Oh, thank you. I do love an emerald. And I love a red nail. I had a gel polish done because I was going to... America for a week and I'm not good with nail polish anyway so I thought I'll go red I'll go classic I'll have a gel put on my nice colorful rings and then I don't have to worry about my hands or nails the problem is and I do like a red nail but the problem is you do have to consider what you're going to wear don't you because yeah you look, do you do it, it can look cool chic French, sexy, or it can just look overly done. Do you know why? I was wearing grey check trousers and a white shirt or black trousers. I was in all kind of neutrals. Mm. And I thought, oh, my God, if I do a beige or a taupe nail on top of this, it just is not a good look for me. Well, you just look like a giant biscuit, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love... A giant digestive biscuit. <laughs> was that not what you were going for? No, it wasn't actually. I was trying to look fun. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. Isn't it amazing how much a mascara can make such a difference? Mm. Oh, mascara is everything. It's my desert island. Lash curlers and mascara is... I need it. My desert island's definitely my brow. You know, Dave has never seen me without my brow. You've honestly has he not? Divorce, but you would. That's too funny. So no doesn't thing. matter. Childbirth, childbirth, whatever. The brow is on. Oh, I'm not worried about. Do you that. sleep in the brow then? Um. Or you just have to get up early and get it on. Yeah, I'll just hope that his <laughs> eyesight is that bad. He doesn't actually... He's not focused that early, Lisa. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> we don't want people focusing. Not early. No. Don't want that kind of man in your life. Someone that doesn't notice stuff and just says, well, you look nice. And you've got a face full of makeup. Thinks you've just slept well. So, I'm going to do my red lipstick. How I like to do this, I like to put a layer of lipstick all over to start with, just following my natural shape, which won't look that great because I've got quite a thin lower lip. So I've blotted my lips now. Now I'm going to do my pencil because then I can see my shape. Before I do that, I'm just going to give myself that guideline. At the outer corners. This will just stop me from drawing down into the corners and will give me a nice lip lift. I'll blend this in a second. It's more of a guideline. Now I'm going to do my shape. I love that colour on you. Mm, I love this colour. Another good reason for doing the pencil now for red is that you blend in the line. Now you're not going to end up with a, a solid line. I feel under pressure now. <laughs> Don't mess it up. 
I will smile. Oh, I feel like I'm in like a chess competition or some extreme sport here. It's intense. Mm. Gosh. It's hard to do a red lip, though. It's great to be shown what to do, you know, step by step. Mm. I think people, people can be quite scared of, of a real bold colour, so it's great to... This technique has never failed me. So I can really see the shape now. I'm doing my final tweaks, and although I'm very heavily penciled, it, you can't see the pencil sort of separate to the rest of the lip. And this is going to stay on the whole of the night. Right, sorry, I'm nearly done. You look Touch more gorgeous. lippy. I just need a bit of blush, but final touches. For me, it's my blush and highlighter, but I also need some fragrance. You need some fragrance. And I well, haven't tried yours yet, so I need the lowdown quickly on which one for me. You okay. know me, you okay. know my personality. Okay. What's going to suit me? For me, I mean, I, I do genuinely love all of the fragrances, but for me, this time of the year, um, I'm looking for something a little bit heavier. And what I love about Sweet 302, which is which is this fragrance. Mm, Sweet 302, it is, I like um, the name. It's a cherry tobacco. So it's a cherry, oh, that nice. a cherry tobacco with a woody undertone. And I love the idea of this for you with your red lip, mm -hmm. with your red nail. Um, I say this is the perfect date night fragrance. Um, but we're going out together, but we're on a date kind of. We're kind of on a date We're kind together. of on a date, yeah, yeah. That's good. So if you do like something that is um, a black cherry tobacco, then mm. Sweet 302 is the one for All you. Right. Get some on there because I need okay. to smell it while I'm finishing my makeup because I know the car's waiting and we are going to be late. But our makeup is going to so look good. Mmm. Oh, that's heaven. It's good, right? Yeah, so good because it's fruity and fresh as well. Because sometimes when you hear like tobacco, it can be a little bit too smoky, like straight away. But that's got such a nice balance between the tobacco-ness, the spiciness, the muskiness, that sort of smokiness with the fresh fruit. Is that right? Have I described that correctly? You have. And that's what I'm it, getting. The other thing I love about this is that, you know, it is genderless as well. All of the mm. fragrances are genderless, I which like is that. key for me. You know, so even, for example, San Isidro Drive, which is the yellow bottle, which is... Are you wearing that one? Tonight. I was wearing this this morning because I also okay. like to mix them. I say that these are a wardrobe of fragrances. But the great thing about uh, San Isidro Drive, it is a rose. So mm. typically more feminine. I do like rose. I do like a rose fragrance. But with an undertone like of wood. So that makes you feel quite cool and a little bit more genderless as opposed mm, to I too to smell this one. I like the sound of it. Because I do like rose fragrances. Mmm... Again, it's just really nice and not sickly because I love it when rose is warm mm. and has a little bit of something dirtier, yeah. like a dirty undertone. And then the last fragrance is Portofino 97. Lovely which colour. Love is, the colour of the bottle. It's the lightest of all the fragrances. Oh, um, fresh. It is a citrus, again, with a woody undertone as nice. well. It's super light, inspired by a trip to Portofino in 1997 that myself oh. and David went on. So the colour of the sea. That's the year the, before our boys were born. Did 98? Your 99. Oh, 99. 99. Yeah. <laughs> Little spritz, makeup last, keep hydrated. And we are ready to go. We are ready to go. I'm excited for our night. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and See you guys soon. We're out for a night out. We are and out. I have to say thank you so much for my makeup. I'm loving my I do like sparkly makeup. holiday eye and natural lips. So thank you so much. We're going to have a fun night. We are. Always. Thank you. Thank you.